Ya. Sorry. He overheard us talking about the results. <laughs> like he didn't have enough to worry about with the cancer. Oh. Hey. Hey, 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 come. Come on. Come. This isn't embarrassing, is it? You know, friendship is underrated. Oh, please. I have trotted out that I don't want to lose your friendship so many times. Well, I don't. I really don't want to lose yours. Oh, I can see what's in it for you. Quick ego boost from an old soap. Ah, uh, no, former soap. And home to Leanne for the real thing. Hey, I'll be the foreplay without the touching. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Jean is out the bottle, Peter. Every time I look at you, we're both gonna know I fancy you. This is one very doomed friendship. No, look, hey, we've both got demons. We can we can help each other, okay? And your feelings for me, they'll fade, especially when you get to know me properly. You better watch yourself. So no mixed signals, no awkwardness, just good, honest support, okay? What do you say? to the crumbs off the table. <laughs> You're a twisted beggar, you. What if you suspect something? What, those two? Crikey. I mean, I've got a lot of time for Jason, but he puts the G in gormless and Rosie Webster didn't even know we exist. It could have been Peter at the door. Yeah, but it wasn't. I'm engaged! I know! What was I thinking? All that champagne on an empty stomach I was just asking for trouble. Oh, thanks. Bonking a colleague on a barroom couch. Oh, hold on. Ex-husband, we didn't bonk. We made love. Oh, please. You look completely horrified. I can't believe I've cheated on Peter. Yeah, but doesn't that tell you something? Yeah, it does. Not to drink on an empty stomach, not to confuse love with lust. Yeah, but the two aren't mutually exclusive. I need to get home. Oh, 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 not like this, you don't. No, no, no. But you had all this planned, didn't you, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me back to rights. Arranged for Peter to be indisposed and forced to be poured champagne down your neck. You couldn't wait to get that bottle open no, quick enough. I'm not playing this game. All that flannel toasting me. No. It was all just foreplay. That's completely untrue. This isn't real. This is all just that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Peter gives good real, doesn't he? That time he burnt his flat down now, that was pretty real. Peter hasn't had a drink since the 12th of February. Yeah, but there's always tomorrow and the next day. I've got a great life with Peter and Simon. I know it might seem boring to oh, you. Oh, no, alcoholic arsonists aren't boring at all. Do you know what? I like ironing Simon's shirts on a Sunday night. I like seeing his five little shirts hanging in his wardrobe on the hangers. Saturday morning swimming. Saturday afternoon pictures. He still jumps in our bed to wake us up no, in the No, you're not married, Simon. <laughs> you're marrying his charity case, Dad. This is me beside him. Oh. This is you running away. You wanted tonight as much as I did. I had more dignity when I judged by the hour. I hate back there. Let's just leave me alone. I've always loved you. Man and boy. We can have the most wonderful life together. No, I am marrying the charity case. And if tonight's taught me anything, it's how much it means to me. It's worth ten of you. Half an hour ago, you were screaming in ecstasy. Ah! Thank you for the biggest wake up call. Glad you came. <laughs> oh, Sam, don't be daft. And that Jack Duckworth, he's been round the block more times than you've had a chippy tea. He was brilliant. He could have made me feel like dirt, but he was dead straight. He just said that if Tyrone wasn't the one, then I should tell him and let him find someone else. What did you say? Ty's the one. I know that I don't deserve him, but I do love him. I know that. And Tyrone knows that. And Jack knew that, God rest his gentle soul. 
Molly, love. You made a mistake. God knows you're paying high price for it. Oh. Everything I say just feels like a lie. When we're in bed, and, you know, and afterwards when he's holding me, I just get this terrible urge to tell him. I want to tell him. And then he can hate me as much as I hate myself. Come here, love. Come on. It's all right. Oh, God. Oh, I feel so self-pity and I feel so selfish. Jack's lying cold in the chapel arrest and I'm here crying for myself. I bet you hid them weapons of mass destruction and all. <laughs> Everything that comes out my mouth feels like a lie. Look, you love your husband and you love your baby. True or false? True. Right. And you and the husband that you love and regret cheating on are going to lavish that baby with all the love in the world. True or false? True. Right. So whenever you get the urge to come clean, you pick up that phone, day or night, and I'll talk you out of it in two seconds flat. Corrie, dear sweet Corrie. And look, if you're feeling a bit tender and don't know where to turn, stick with me as we've got a lovely and very fitting tribute in Farewell Jack next. Now tonight, got something a bit special as well. Ollie Murs Revealed is on at 10.45. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs>